This is Kenneth Yates with MMAAbsolute.com and we're here with Chris Ripple Williams who's just coming off of a second round KO victory over Kael Myers. Chris, that was a last minute f uh, fight replacement for you that you took. Were there any concerns about your conditioning in that fight? Well, I took the fight, uh, yeah, last minute, uh, uh, about eight hours before the weigh-ins. Uh, Chad called me, but um, I was still training it, you know, off and on, like four times a week on the side. But, um, yeah, it kind of caught me off guard. But um, before I went to the weigh-ins, I went up to Emilio and did some sprints. And uh, my conditioning was fine. So I uh, figured I'd just give it a try. And for the fans that weren't there that night, talk about how the fight went down. How you, how did you end up getting the win? Um, well, the first round he came out, uh, just circling him and you know trying to feel him out a little bit. And um, I, he, he, you know, we were exchanging some back and forth, pretty much wars, you know, in buddy's game. And uh, he, you know, he got me down, but I, st I stood back up, and then and, uh, you know, just we just went from there and just. Uh, we just, I just let loose her. I just, uh, you know, I started hitting with combinations and, um, you know, I caught him with some knees and uh, I, I hit him with, I believe I hit him with a kick and uh, his hands were up, but I seen his eyes roll back, so I, f I figured uh, he, he can't really handle the kicks, so I figured this, this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot for the kicks and see how it goes from there, but, um, yeah, I was kneeing him and, and, and give him credit, he had some plenty of heart. Uh, he, he didn't go down, but I, I hit him with plenty of shots and he's still standing, but um, yeah, so the uh, first round is done and then the second round came out, um, said corners out, and I uh, stood up and my hand was popping. Um, as you can see, it's in a cast. And my hand was popping, so I mean, I looked to the ref and then I was like, I just figured I was going to tell the ref my hand is broken, I cannot continue. But then I looked over to Kyle and he was breathing kind of hard, so I figured I, I can finish the fight, uh, but I'm going to have to do it with a kick knee or, you know, a left hook or a jab or something crazy. But, um, yeah, so um, the second round came out and, you know, I uh, threw the jab, kicked him in the leg, and then I looked down, faked the, faked the, um, the leg and switched to the high. And um, I seen his eyes roll, so I, I just hit him with a, with a one-two and then need him twice. And then right there, I seen him coming in for a left hook with his hand dropped. As soon as it dropped, I switched and high kick left him. And that finished him right there. And that kind of brings me to my next question. You were scheduled to fight later on this, might, uh, this month. Um, but from the looks of your hand, it looks like you, know, you, you might not be able to. Um, is that fight still going to happen? Uh, no, that fight is canceled. Um, on the tough man, this 27th, I won't be fighting. I just had surgery. Yes, uh, not yesterday, the day before uh, in Waimea. So um, they did surgery. So I'll be out for like a month, but that's not gonna stop me from training. I'm just gonna work my left and make it stronger. So be popping that left more right now. Do you have any other fights coming up? Um, you know, more towards uh, next month. Yeah, uh, I think in, yeah October. Uh, scheduled to fight Zachary Paul on the uh, 808 Battlegrounds. Uh, I'll be training for that. This this is not gonna stop me. This is only making me uh, train harder. I'm gonna I'm only gonna strive harder. I know that my right is is pretty strong already. So this is my weakness. So I look at it as a, from the negative to the positive. So this this could use some work. I know that I can knock people out with my right side. So I'll focus on my left and make it faster and stronger. So it only motivates me to even train harder. And do you think your hand would be um, all healed up and ready by then? I think it'll, um, yeah, for sure it'll be ready. It'll be ready. It'll be a lot stronger. It'll be ready for a war. Well, Chris, thank you for your time. Um, we always appreciate your, you know, coming over and talking with us. Is there anything you'd like to say to anybody that's going to be watching this? And shout outs to anybody. Thank yous or anything? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to thank uh, MMA Absolute for giving me the time, the interview. I'd like to thank Chris Cisneros for working my corner that night and Anthony Pagan working my corner that night. I'd like to thank um, uh, Fuel Academy Tyrone at the gym. I'd like to thank Rudy Valentino. I'd like to thank Arden. I'd like to thank uh, Harry Castro at Precision Auto Glass for um, you know strength training with me. Capena, Big Pablo, um, all the boys, Bruin. You know I'd like to thank all the boys that just had there. You know believe in me. And yeah.
for being there, supporting me. Supporting me, absolute.com. Thank you again.